Hello everybody, welcome to one of my videos. My name's Jamie and I'm from Morgan's Games. Today I'm doing an unboxing video. I bought these on Facebook. Now it's very rare I buy anything off Facebook, especially gaming related, but these were from one of my friends and subscribers, John Stone. He posted it just after Christmas. They are Amiga games, and I'm a big Amiga fan and a big Amiga collector. Now all he wanted was £55. Now bear in mind, I'm trying to be good financially, it was too good to turn down. Now there's quite a few games in this box, now some of them I've never even heard of, and there's quite a few of them I've never played before, but I thought why not, it's a good deal, and John Stone is a great guy. So I'll help him out, and I'm going to do an unboxing video on my channel today. Okay, there we go. Now I'm a big Amiga collector, I've got loads of games in my collection already, but today I've spent quite a few hours trying to make some more space, so hopefully I've now got places to put them. Now John has actually included a little letter in here, it says, Hello everybody, Jamie, all the best for 2019, keep up the excellent work, cheers John. Really nice of you mate, thank you so much, You're a really nice guy. I will look after these, don't you worry, I'm a collector and I like to look after my collection. Oh my word, he's actually... right. So, he's, he's really put a lot of time and effort into this because he's wrapped up each individual box. I really appreciate it. Okay. Okay, in no particular order, let's open up the first one. This is quite a heavy box, I have to admit. Now, these are all Amiga games. Okay, the first one I've opened is called Knights of the Sky. Now, I've never actually heard of this one. This is from Micro Pros. Now, it's quite a heavy box. I imagine there's quite a lot of discs in here. Simulation of aerial combat and gallantry in World War One. Fly 20 planes, every major fighter in World War One. Navigate with actual mapping of trenches, roads, cities, aerodromes, anti-aircraft guns and more. Accomplish hundreds of missions in seven categories, including ground, support, bombing and more. See the action from 13 3D perspective. Challenge a friend via modem or direct cable. Microprose presents... That's good. That looks good. Knights of the Sky. Released in 1990, platforms Amiga, Atari ST, DOS, Linux, Macintosh, PC98, and Windows. Passwords, people! This is something that children of today don't quite understand. Back in the old days, this is what we had to do. Uh, the Squadron Insignia ID Test. Choose the correct squadron. The 11th Aero Squadron. Correct. Proud to fight! World War One. Flight training, dogfight encounters, head-to-head -head or exit game. Flight training, I guess. Don't read history, make it. This is where we select the plane. Okay, so next base, previous base, accept base. Let's just go for that one, shall we? Uh, Dunkirk. Now this game came out in 1990. Uh, it got a 78% for the Atari ST and 82% for the Amiga. I need the instruction book already. I don't even know how to take off. Uh, right, so pressing O on the keyboard will start the engine. Engine is on. Right, pressing the plus key on the keyboard will increase the throttle. So press it a few times and then you'll start to move along the airfield. Right, throttle at 10%, 20%, 30%. Right, we are moving. We are airborne. It took a while, but I think we're actually finally airborne now. We are in the air. Okay. Come back. Maniac pilot. There must be quite a lot of planes. Oh, blimey. Right. He's going down! He's going down! So am I. He's smoking! He's going down! He's going, 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 going! Gone. 
He's crashed. No, he hasn't, has he? He's crashed. He's down. He's blown up. Unfortunately, I've landed by mistake. Now I can't seem to take off. Elevator's wrecked by bullet fire. The bullet has tripled your engine. My engine is crippled. Oh, I'm on the ground. I'm on the ground. I'm down. I'm on the ground. I'm now officially a car. There is no taking off now. Fight or buy bonds. Yeah. What did you do in the Great War? Rolling along the ground takes its toll on your Newport 11. It wings fall off. Your mission was a failure. Your promotion depends on the successful completion of missions. Well, yes. Very true. Okay. Mate, it must have taken you ages to do this. But I really appreciate it. I really do. Okay. Next one. Okay, next box is... Okay, the next one is Space Hulk. This is by Electric Arts. Another game I've never played before, but I'm guessing it's similar to Space Crusade, which I do own. A derelict spaceship is infested with gene stealers. Immensely fast, immeasurably strong. These insectoid beasts from hell breed by planting their genes in living humans. Bolt on your power armor and awesome weaponry. You're going in. Terrifying real-time combat. Lightning fast, freeze-time strategy. Over 50 deadly missions, including Death Week and Campaign. 12 weapons including lightning claws and assault cannons. Control single space marines, five man squads or multiple troops. Now that is going to be quite good fun because I do like Space Crusade. That's got bad news written all over it, that is. Ugh. That ended badly for him. So that must be the Gene Stealers. They are gene stealers. They are bad news in this game. And that's us. We're the good guys. Space Hulk board game design games workshop. Which are still going. You can still find games workshops in the town centres. Thanks to Warhammer Records for the use of Get Out of My Way by D Rock. 1993 Nick Wilson Electric Arts and Games Workshop. Welcome to the basic tutorials. Now I have got Space Crusade on the Amiga, but this one I've never played before. Brother Marines. Yes, I'm here. Alright, suicide mission, exterminate, rescue, cleanse and burn decoy, defend. Well, I don't know really. Probably not rescue. I'm probably not going to be very good at rescuing. Suicide mission? That sounds like I'm going to kill myself. Mission code name exterminate. You are heavily outnumbered. Well, that's not a good start. There is no escape. That is also not a good start. You must hold on for as long as possible. No retreat, no surrender. Now for your detailed mission briefing. Stay alive, I'd say. Kill anything that moves. Warriors of the Emperor. One squad is available for your command. Deploy your squad here. You must eliminate 30 gene stealers. The evil approaches from these points. Ah! Dead! There we go, I killed one already. That was alright. That's one anyway, 29 to go. Right, I'm dying. I am dying, dying, really dying. Okay, this is not going well. There is a lot of dead bodies. Unfortunately, most of them are mine. Okay, loading. Okay. Unfortunately, four people died there. Mission code name exterminate. Mission all mission objectives met. Terminators have killed the required amount of gene stealers. Terminator casualties 4, confirmed enemy kills 30. I don't remember killing that. Did I kill 30, did I? I don't know how I survived that. He wasn't firing. 
Now, when you kill them, they do die in quite a gruesome fashion. Go away! How can this get, how can this turn so badly? That one killed four of my team members. In no time at all, it's gone from five to one. It's gone from five to solo. The one and only. How can that change so quickly? But it did. Terminated casualties, four. It shouldn't have been. Conferred enemy kills, 30. Exactly, that's what it should be. Next one. There we go. Okay, the next game is called Their Finest Hour, The Battle of Britain. And this is by LucasArts. And there's another flying game, and again, it's another game I've never heard of. Uh, a battle fought not only by generals and scientists, but by ordinary men. Men who learned to live with fear and stared into the face of death in every waking hour. Men who relied on each other's skills, courage and faith to keep them alive at the time when their physical and mental faculties, that's a word I struggle with, were stretched to breaking point and beyond. Now you can relive this gut-wrenching, bloody confrontation in the most graphically stunning, accurate and thrilling realistic war simulator. Authentic combat action, unique replay camera, lots of special features. This game is great. It captures the real flavour of World War II dogfighting. Amiga format 90%. Look out for the extra missions pack, their finest missions. So again, another game I've never heard of or never played, but hopefully I'll try it soon. Their finest hour, the Battle of Britain. Select plane for training flight. A Spitfire, a Hurricane, a BF-109E, a BF-110C4, a Ju-87 Stuco, a Du-17Z2, He-111H3, JU-88A1. We'll go for a Spitfire, shall we? Okay, no music in this game, it seems. Right, we're in a Spitfire. And we are already airborne, so that's a good thing. I've never been any good at these sort of games, but we'll see what happens. Okay, published by Lucasfilm Games, developed by Lucasfilm Games, released in 1989, platforms the Amiga, the Atari ST, and DOS. Genre is an action simulation. Perspective is first person, and it's a flight aviation set in historical events World War Two. For the Germans, there is the... F what happened there? I fell into the water. Luckily, you scrambled out of your plane before it disappeared beneath the channel's waters. A cargo ship rescued you. I didn't even... I, didn't even hap I was too busy reading the statistics. I, I crashed into the water. Uh, targets hit. None. Water hit. One. Do you want to fly the same mission again? Well, yes, but hopefully you don't crash this time. I've never been any good at flying games, especially old ones. Apart from shoot 'em ups, I love shoot 'em ups, but not this sort of shoot 'em up. I'm more of a side scrolling shooter myself. Yeah! I blew one up! Yes! Excellent! Okay. One down, one to go. Bail out! Your plane is out of control! Oh my word! How do I eject? Parachute! Parachute! How do I... Ooh! I don't know how I bail out. Uh, My plane is out of control. How do we parachute? Help! Help! You're over the channel! You're going to end up in the water! Your plane smashed into the channel. The severe impact of the crash killed you. Rest in peace. Your mission score. Air victories. Zero. Hmm. Yeah. Ah, Jay does parachute. Right. But I can't do anything. Bail out. There we go! A parachute has been deployed! I'm out! I'm safe! The parachute has opened! 
So at least I didn't die this time. My plane crashed, but I didn't have any bullets anyway. But at least my pilot has lived to fight another day. Okay, we're still going. Next game is Lombard Rally. Now, I'm a big rally fan, but this one has passed me by. But this came out in 1988, released by Mandarin Software in association with Red Rat. Your 300 brake horsepower Ford rope Sierra Cosworth roars away from the starting line, skinning round the hairpin bends as you speed through unfamiliar, ever-changing terrain in a race where every fraction of a second counts. Lombard Rally recreates all the excitement of the world-famous rally with the help of RAC drivers who guarantee its authenticity. No word I can't say. Complete the five stages down winding tracks through verdant forests and over precarious mountain ranges with the additional hazards of night driving and fog. Repair damage and new features to your car in the workshop and earn money and spares for taking part in the TV interview. That sounds good. This is the official simulation of a lifetime will your skills measure up to the challenge. That was actually quite difficult to read for me, but again, Another one that's passed me by, but I do like rally games. Lombard Rally by Red Rat Mandarin Software. Hmm, 1988. That's my car. Telford to Harrogate, Harrogate to Carlisle, Carlisle to Harrogate, Harrogate to Harrogate. How's that going to work? Practice, use workshop, TV interview. Hmm. Three, two, one, go. Lombard Rally. This is a manual gear, not automatic. Now, when it comes to driving games, I do tend to use automatics. Not this one. This is the first ever rally game I've played on the Amiga. Now, I've played lots of rally games in my time. I do own quite a lot of them, but not on the Amiga. Now, there are other cars as well on the track. It's not just me. Now the map is on the clipboard, which the guy next to me is holding. At the moment, I haven't crashed. There we go! Awesome! What's a TV interview? TV interview? How many marshals are involved in the running of a rally? Uh, 5,000. Which is the only rally which more than one starting point? Uh, Monte Carlo. What nationality is rally driver Kenneth Eriksson? Swedish. Who won the 7th Maribol? Blimey, I've got to be really quick here. Results. 40 pounds. Huh. Cosworth. Cash available 40 pounds. Parts available 300 pounds. Yeah, ain't gonna happen, is it? Bodywork, suspension, engine, tyres, exit. I think we'd be exiting because I can't buy any. I don't have any money. Got 40 pounds. Oh, hang on. I bought something. Oh, okay. Huh? I'm buying something. How do you exit? We're still going! We are still going. John, you did an excellent job wrapping all these up. Now, I have heard of this one, but never played it. Laws of the Rising Sun is a cinema wear game. I've got a few of those. This came out in 1989. Welcome to 12th century Japan. Your bitter rivals, the Tarang clan, have murdered your father and subverted the emperor. In an epic quest to become shogun and those redeem the family honor, you'll command vast armies of samurai warriors. Defend yourself against ninja assassins, Lay siege against mighty fortresses. Negotiate 
alliances and confront your enemies in the personal combat. The battle lines are drawn. One of the largest universes ever created on the computer. The greatest graphics and animation ever to appear in the war game. A unique blend of role playing and strategy combined with challenging arcade style sequences, state of the art music and sound effects. Now that again was quite difficult to read, but yeah, there we go, that should be good. Never played this before in my life. Is this a mouse game? It's a mouse game. Okay. Prepare to march. We're on a horse. Map. The decision to continue the march is given. The troops form a long column and await the order to advance. Okay, developers is Cityware, publisher is Cityware, directors Doug Barnett, composers Rob Lindstorm, platforms MS-DOS, Amiga, PC Engine, CD, CDI, Sharp, X68000, released in 1989, genre is an arcade game, modes is a single player. I don't know where I am. Where am I? Right, I... I don't know where I am. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't get this one. The decision to continue the march is given. The troops form a long column and await the order to advance. Absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to do. We have a map. Yes. Doesn't help though. I still don't know what I'm doing. Castles, monasteries, cities, ports. Hmm. Okay. Getting started. That's a good point. Turn on your computer and monitor. That's a good start. Uh, prompt. Insert wheel one. Done. Yeah, I know that. I, I know how to start the game. I don't know how to play the game. Note. Any time you see the message, touch sword hilt to continue. Press either mouse button. Well, I can do that. That's fine. Inside your home castle is a council room. At the left of the room is your banner. The five banners on your centre wall are replicas of the banners of the most powerful generals in the war. When you exit your home castle, prepare to march. You go to the map screen, which is what I'm on now. The map screen. The map screen displays a map of 12th century Japan, similar to the map at the start of your manual. Which is in box. Right. I don't know what I'm doing. White indicates arrival messages. Yuritomomo arrives at Idu. Yellow informs you to, of encounters. Blue messages of death or defeat. Green lets you know about victories. Purple describes action by generals outside of your control. Click on the cane's head on either side of the message window to scroll the map left or right. Ah, right. No, no actually, yes, that's left, actually. That's right. Ah, oh, right. Right, okay. Uh, right, left. Okay, so the map is quite huge. They're fighting. Ooh, we've got something happening. Encounter. Elements of another army are sighted in the vicinity. Precautionary measures are taken to prepare for the encounter. Wow, we've got something happening now, people. Continue march. Well, no, I don't want to... A fight. Ah. Fight! Attack! 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 Am I this one, or am I, I'm assuming I'm these guys, not these guys. I'm, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I, I, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them, attack! Kill, kill, kill! 
Who's won? Who's winning? I don't know. Defeated in battle. In the battle, lost 41 warriors and 18 archers with four men wounded. Monomory lost 32 warriors and zero archers with three men wounded. Contempl contemplating the current status of the war, you can consider the option for your next course of action. My next course of action is to quit this game and go on to the next one. Number one! <laughs> okay. Next one, people, is The Untouchable. So this one I have heard of, but I've not played the Amiga version. The only version I've played and owned is the C64 version, which is brilliant. But this was released by Ocean in 1989, the same year as the original Batman movie, which again is fantastic. Take on the mob. Six breathtaking action sequences put you in control of Elliot Ness's elite squad of crime busters. Alleyway shootouts, the border raid, the railway station confrontation and warehouse bust accumulation in the thrilling denouncement of the rooftop jaw as you relive the knife edge existence of Ness in his struggle against the retribution of Capone, the untouchables live and American legend. My reading is okay, it's not brilliant but it's okay, but this should be very very good as well. Okay, this is The Untouchables. I'm actually quite looking forward to playing this because I've never played this version before. I've only played the CCD4 version, which has great music. So, Amiga version. Scene 1 is the warehouse. Whoa! My word, did you see that, that rate of fire? It was like a... Blimey. Alright, this is started very, very difficult straight from the go. These enemies have a lot of firepower. They got Tommy guns. There's no surprise. I love the soundtrack. It's really good. I find out bullets. Oh no. Wish these other guys would have bullets. I have the evidence. So we're off the mark. Now the arrow at the top right will tell you where you got to find it. Where the person is with the evidence. I find out bullets. But there are so many people, but you can climb as well, and I love the animations, the climbing. Really good. I'm really impressed with this already. Now, amazingly, I've never actually seen the film of this. Which might surprise quite a lot of you. So follow the arrow, which is now saying right. That is him there, I'm assuming, because he's climbing. I'm doing better than this ver on this version than I am on the CC4 version. I have 30% now. Now I've noticed that that arrow will flash more when you're closer to him. Which is handy. But you only get the one life. Now I'm going to try and do a long play of this, because I quite like this. I'm dead. Well, I did well, I got 30%. I like that, that's a good game. Next game! Next. We're still going, we're still going. Next game is Hostages. Now I do actually own this one, but I don't own it as a box. But I do now. This is a great game, quite difficult at times. Released in 1988 by Infograms. Wow, there's lots to read here. An urgent phone call from the National Security Minister. An embassy has been overrun by a group of terrorists. As head of the terrorist interpretation combat team, you are in control of the operations. First, you must place your crack marksmen in nearby buildings, taking them down the adjoining streets, avoiding infrared lights and the terrorist deadly aim. Secondly, you must get your team of specialist paratroopers onto the roof of the embassy. Then after descending by rope and protecting by your marksman, enter the embassy through the windows and begin your search in silence. But beware, each door, each room could be the death trap. 
you must get the hostages and your men out of the building without any loss of life. And this will depend on the cohesion and coordination of your team. Now it's your move. Again, not brilliant reading, but it's the best I can do. But there we go, I finally got a boxed version. This is Hostages, came out in 1988 by Infograms. It's a great game. Never finished it though. An embassy has been overrun by a group of terrorists. Stop. Their demands are acceptable. Stop. It's up to you to free the embassy and disarm the terrorists. Stop. Interpretation required now. Stop. That's actually quite a good reading for me. Great game. That's too quick for me. You know I'm not a good reader. Your mission, Lieutenant, and that of your men will be to find the three positions marked by cross on this plan. Once you are there, you must survey the side of your embassy in your field of vision. And you must intervene in the assault of the protection of your team. It's up to you to play as Delta Echo and Mike. Good luck. That, again, was difficult to read because it goes so quickly. Now, I'm going to try and get all three of them to the destination, which I've never done before. The best I've ever done is two. This is a great game, I'm not great at it, but we've got to avoid the searchlights. If they spot you, they'll shoot at you. Now you do take a few hits before you die, but I'm going to try and get the first person to the furthest point to make it easier for the last two. That's the plan. So get the most difficult one out the way first. Right. Now you go into the door or the window, press the space bar. Now he's actually arrived. However, I'm going to get him further. Uh. I hope he's got a bulletproof vest. Uh. There we go. How are we doing? Update. Not yet. Still a long way to go. I've owned this game for a very, very long time. I've never owned it as a box. Right, is that it? No, next one. Okay. Just don't die. Right, it's going to be difficult. Waiting for the right time to pounce. In there, we're safe. Woohoo! He's safe. For now. Wasn't an easy ride though, was it? So press F2 and we switch to Echo. Now he's got a difficult task as well, but not as difficult because I've done the difficult one first. Now this isn't a long play, this is a bit of footage for my unboxing video. Right, okay, there's the hot club. He's arrived at the hot club. Okay, let's go for Mike now. You are now Mike. Okay. No pressure, mate, but I've never got all three of them to their destination before. It's all on you now. Don't go in there, that's where Echo is. I've done it! I've only got them done it, haven't I? I've never done that before. There we go, I've got all three of them there. Press return to go to the next screen. Press F10 to start over. We don't want to do that. I, I can't believe it. I've never done that before. But anyway, this isn't a long play. This is not a long play. One. Two. Three. For the very first time. I've got all three of them there. Can't believe it. It's like Christmas, this is. Games for Christmas. I miss those days. Another one, guys. And another one I've never heard of. This is Pioneer Play. Another one by Mandarin Software in 1988. Pioneer Probe MK4, a self-replicating robot spaceship, is out of control, destroying all life as it travels from planet to planet in a Sterium cluster. Your mission is to stop the spread of the plague before it's too late. That's in HAM mode graphics with 4096 on-screen colours, 8 directional scrolling over a detailed cityscape, wicked stereo music score and digitalised speech. Drone flight patterns you can program to be either aggressive or defensive. Carefully designed instrument panel packed with information to help plan your strategy. Your performance analyzed to show your strength and weaknesses. Another game and not play, but it'd be worth a look. 
Let me go. The Pioneer Play, never heard of it, by Bill Williams, copyright 1988. Self-replicating probes are heading for your home, transforming every planet they reach into a- I can't read that in time. Approaching. Something's approaching, but I don't know what. What is that? Ah, okay. That's actually quite a big spaceship. Right, now on the radar at the top, we have a white dot, black dot, and red dots. Now this is a shoot 'em up which is a multi-scrolling. It's a commercial license, English, one player, and it was originally for $24.95 in the shops. Okay, magazine reviews, it got 87% in Amiga Computing Volume 1. ST Amiga format was 78% and your Amiga was in February to March 1989 which got a 72% rating. <clears throat> Possibly this. What is it? Ah, okay. It's that. Right, I got a fuel gauge which is flashing. So, yeah. I'm actually running out of fuel. Okay. One of those. I, I'm assuming I just got to blow all those up. There's one more. It's right here, right on top of it. There we go. Now we have this. Right, I've blown all them up, but now it's gone a little bit more difficult. Right, mayday, mayday. I'm going down. I've run out of energy. I've run out of shield. I've run out of fuel. Now that is not a good combination. Your wetware has failed you. The entire galaxy will now be infected with copies of Pioneer Probe Mark IV. That doesn't sound good. You reach wave 1, your final score is 680. Press escape to try again. Oh, okay. Blimey, well, that is really in there. I cannot get that out. For official use only, it says there, but I can't get it out of the box. Um... Oh, wow. It's not even been opened. What do I do? Now I've got this. This came in the box for official use only. Emergency manual navigation kit. Now this is sealed. Now I'm a collector. I don't want to open it, but part of me does. Emergency systems operation package. Life Star Service X35-4 V12 revision as of 2-26-13 AD month 27 I'm not going to open it. I'm a collector, baby. Ah, right. Take a look at the four monitors in front of you. The one on the left will take you to the airship. Waiting in the hangar below, the life star will take you from planet to planet. But the airship is your attack vehicle. Two, the second monitor from the left shows you a map of your home system. It lets you move the life star to another planet, which is that one. The next monitor links you into a drone programming simulator, which is that one, which is what I'm not very good at. Your airship carries two drones. You can program them to carry out special missions while you're wrecking havoc. The monitor on the right is for saving and loading drone patterns. Okay. Hmm. There's a lot to read, people. Moving to a new planet. From the control room, click the mouse over the second monitor and... Right, okay, let's try that. Okay, I'm here. Um, that looks... Collapsar vector established. Widening wormhole. Target planet. Entering sub... Euclidean plane. That doesn't say. Oh my word. Oh, right, okay, now it's gone to a first person shooter. I 
Am I dead? Right, we'll do that again because I wasn't expecting that. We'll go again. But now I know what to do. I think. Interesting look to it. They're getting faster, these things. Wow, this is getting extremely fast. Whoa! My word! Uh, every time I shoot one, it gets slightly faster. Every time I miss one, it slows down. I don't know what they are. Whoa, my word. It's like being a crazy disco. This is ridiculously fast. Getting hypnotized. I don't know what those things are. No. Nope. Your eyes are now rest. At rest. Blow, I did worse that time. That is some explosion. I think I'm dead. You reached wave three. Your final score is 2,286. What well, did better? Press escape to try again. Okay, next up, and I don't, actually forgot about this one. Right, next up is Batman, the original Batman movie in 1989. Now, I got my first Amiga in 1989, and the one we got was the Batman pack. So we had this game, however, the box has gone astray over the years, but I finally got it again. But unfortunately, on the back is blank. So nothing to read, but it's a great game. It's really, really good. I love it. Just said I'm hungry, and if I just go with my phone, the first thing I see is steak. Maybe even more hungry now. Right. The Axis Chemical Factory. This is Batman the movie. This is a fantastic game by Ocean. This is the first Amiga game I got. In 1989, I got the Batman pack. I got it for Christmas. Best Christmas ever. Right. Now you start off with two lives, you do get a time limit. And your energy is the picture of Batman. Now, every time you take a hit, it slowly turns into the Joker. Once the Joker's full image is unveiled, you die. Now, you do earn an extra life at the end of each level. Now, you have Batarangs, and you also have a Bat Rope. You use your Bat Rope to get to higher ground. But you can jump down through the floor by pressing down and fire. Doesn't matter what height you are, they'll throw them at you. One hit with a Batarang will finish them off. Now you do actually earn points by walking, which I mentioned on my long play, but yes you can. I don't think there's many games where you earn score through walking. This game has excellent music as well, really great sound effects, it's brilliant. It's an all round great game. Now you can shoot your bat rope at different angles, and you can swing as well, which is very handy in the cathedral level. Very much needed in that level. And you can jump from it as well. There we go. Now I've never played Batman Returns, never played that one. But another great film. I wasn't keen on the other ones. Now you can hit the enemy with your harpoon. I hit him in the face, but then he hit me in the face with a grenade. So, I kind of deserve that. I don't know how I avoided that, but I did. Right, health is not great, time is not great. But we are still alive. Now, this is not a long play, this is an unboxing, Jamie, so don't do too much. But I'm gonna, definitely going to do another long play. I'm going to improve the one I did early on on my channel. That was very, very early on. I did have a few capture issues on that video. Right, this is my favourite level. This is the streets of Gotham City. This is brilliant. Very, very good. Another great soundtrack. It's fantastic. Right, we have to avoid 
the police. So we have to use the harpoon to avoid the police, the roadblocks. Now the arrow at the top will tell you which way you have to turn. You get three chances at it. If you don't make it on the third attempt, you are captured by the police. To be quite honest, I think this is probably my favourite movie-based game I've ever played in my life. I really do. I've always liked this game. We are in the back cave. Two, that's a good start. Uh, right, okay, so the first one had two. So I'm guessing that... That, 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 no, that, 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 yes, how close was that, my screen's not even in the right position, there we go, that was close, the last one was lipsticks, I make lipsticks for a living, <laughs> Okay. Oh, right. This one's in a cardboard box. Right, now this is the only one that John said was a little bit of a bad state. Next game is Space Ace. Now I have played this a long time ago. I'm rubbish at it. I'm really bad at it. I mean, I have played uh, Dragon's Lair 2 Time Warp. That one I can mm, sort of do, but this one I can't even get past the first section. Uh, the ultimate space adventure. Ace, Earth's greatest hero, is being attacked by the evil commander Borf. Borf has just kidnapped the beautiful Kimberly and is plotting to take over the planet Earth and the help of his dreaded weapon, the Infato Ray. Only you can guide Ace through treacherous battles to destroy the Infanto Ray. Save Earth and rescue Kimberly. Be valiant, Space Warrior. The fate of Earth is in your hands. That's worrying. Some rubbish. Space Ace, the arcade follow-up to Bomb Bloof's Dragon's Lair, is now available with this breathtaking full-screen animation and sound of the original laser disc game. Advanced compression techniques allow for over 40 fast action scenes to be brought to life on your personal computer by ReadySoft. Incorporated. I'm terrible at this game, so I think I need to get some practice. Right, I am terrible at this game. I'm absolutely terrible. I am dead already. I am dead already. I just can't do this game. I just, I've never been any good at this. Right. So. Surely you go right. Go right. Your mission is over. Well, there's a surprise. It's got to be right. It has to be right. Then go left. It has to be left. Then go right. And then you get killed by a laser. Uh, right. So. Okay. Got 650 points. Right. Left. Right. That's as far as I can get. Yeah. It's very similar to Dragon's Lair. And that I'm not totally good at either. But I can get a little bit further on Dragon's Lair. Yeah. I did warn you. This actually came out on the arcade, Mega, Apple, IIGS, 3DO, Philips CDI, Jaguar CD, Macintosh, MS DOS, Atari ST, Mega CD, DVD player, Blu ray, Wii, DSiWare, iOS, PlayStation 3, Android, Steam, and the SNES. <laughs> That's my limit. I can't do any more than that. I can jump backwards and forwards a couple of times. Let's try right, left, up. Right, left, up. Right, left, up. Right, left, up. Right. 
Right. Left. Up. No, that's not right either. What is it? It's not right, left, up. It's not right, left, right. So what is it? Right, left, down? Right. Left. Down. Yay! I've got past it! Oh, I'm dead. That's the furthest I've got, people. Well, it's work in progress. I got to the second screen. Hmm. If you can complete this game, please let me know in the comments box below. How do you do it? You must have a really great photographic memory. Forward. Forward. Yes! Yes! No, I'm dead again. I'm making progress. It's taking me about 10 minutes to get this far. It's down. You got this down. Down. Up. Up. Fire. Woo! Huh? What killed me? Down, up, up. Jamie, it's nearly 4 o'clock in the morning. Down. Up. 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 Yes! Now what? Something! Yahoo! First time ever in my life I got past the first level! Now what? Can I get in by a snake? Wowzers! Okay. I reckon I gotta shoot him. I reckon he's got a gun, hasn't he? I gotta shoot him. Back. Left. 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 Down. Up. 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 Yes! Yes! Right! Fire! Surely! Fire! He's got a gun, isn't he? Don't know why he doesn't use it at the start. Yes! Yes! No! He fell in the water! Ah. It wasn't so bad falling in the water. There's worse ways to die. Like getting hit by a snake, getting hit by a laser. Well! I don't want to do the rest tomorrow. It's now 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm going to finish this tomorrow. Well, technically it is tomorrow. I'm going to finish it later on today. Yes. Okay, this is the last one. A big thank you to John for wrapping it up so well. I really appreciate it. Now, this one I do own. But again, I don't own it as a box. But it's a brilliant game. Last one people, and this is North and South. This is a game I've owned for a very, very long time. It's brilliant, but I don't own a box version. But I do now. This came out in 1991 by Infograms. Set during the American Civil War, North and South offers you the chance to play Yankees or Confederates. Gun-toting, infantry, sword-bearing cavalry and cannons are at your disposal, but aware of hazards that occur randomly in the game. North and South features a wealth of cartoon quality graphics, and excellent sound effects such as train whistles and cannon fire. Action, sorry, Amiga Action 84%, it's brilliant. Yes, that is so great. That's not even green. That's like a bluey sort of color, but it's getting blanked out by the green screen. Now this is not a long play, but I will do a long play on my channel. This is the main menu screen. This is my side, and that is the computer side. When you have this background... How mean is that? I was ex That did it on its own. How rude is you? Are you? Okay, now this is not going to be a long play. So Jamie, don't do too much. Save that for a future video. Now, the money that you collect will help towards extra troops. 
Now each space that you go to will change your map. Right, I'm being confronted. Now this is a keyboard fighting section, if I remember what they are. We have cannons, we have horses, and people with swords. Right, I don't know the controls. Controls. Right, shift changes. Right, I'm taking quite a... Right, that was not professionally done. But then I was trying to remember the controls. Shift changes to your other players. So at the moment, I've got one cannon, which is dead, and three people. Now with the cannons, you can blow them up, but they do have a limited amount of cannons. So there we are, not professionally done, but three men have won the day. Victory is mine. So you take the space. Once the safe is full up with cash, you get another player. Now down here it will tell you what there is. I've got six men, three horses and one cannon. This one, however, three men, no cannons, no horses. So it's not going to be too good for him. Now this space here, this is where we get an extra right on cue. There we go. Right on cue. I like that. So now, in no time at all, it's gone from 300 to 931. So much better. But they've just gained another one. So, let's carry on, shall we? Now, there are some spaces which you are attacked by these guys. These Indians. Now, I don't think you can actually control multiple at once. He's retreating. Where are you going? Oh. I've never seen that before. He gave up. He retreated. I didn't know you could do that. Oh. Okay. Ah. Okay. He retreated. I've never seen that before. How would you do that? Escape key? But mind you, it was slightly outnumbered. They're going again! I've seen it twice now! They're backing off! Huh! You cowards! I had no idea you could do that. Now this one, you can actually blow up the bridge. Like that. Now what I was going to say before I got rudely interrupted by people retreating is you can fall in the water. Right, I lost that one, but then that was all over the place. That really was. I didn't even finish what I was trying to say. Right, the game one, another one back, but then Jamie, this is not a long play. So now, the tables have turned, now I'm, I'm outnumbered by quite a lot. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do for the last attempt of the, now they're going to gain another one. This is really bad now. Am I being picked on now? One minute they were retreated, now they're winning. Right, okay. For the last part of this... Not long play, is it? Let's attempt this castle. This is the final bit of this attempt. And again, this is keyboard. We have to get to the flag before the time runs out. Now you are a shoe or boot, which is at the bottom of the screen. The time is an alarm clock. Now enemies can be fired at you, you can throw knives at them, and you also get the attack of dogs. Now at the moment, I'm winning. You can jump. 
He's dead. We have made it. The flag turns to blue. So you take over their castle. It's now mine. And now I'm getting attacked by two people. I've got no chance. Right, they're going to have a lot... Right, this is all I've got. This is all I've got. One of my men is actually getting attacked by a tree. Right, I'm slightly outnumbered, as you can see. But then I have been in this situation before. The cannon is not too bad, if I just stay out of their range. But... One thing I've noticed with this game, I don't know if you can actually use control. He got hit by a tree. He was hitting the tree. He was hitting the tree and he, then he got shot. And now they're attacking my castle, even though I'm dead. I've never. There's another thing I've never seen before. I'm actually, technically, I'm dead. So I'm attacking these guys with nothing. We have. I can. Yeah, okay, we'll see what happens. I'm interested to see if I can win this, even though I've actually lost. Right, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. It's all down to you now. At the moment, I'm winning, but I don't have any more people left. So what's going to happen? I have no idea. I've never seen a computer play this badly. So I've won, even though I don't have any people left. Hmm. So I won that, but I lost that. Well, well, Captain, what have you done? Defeated by the Confederates in eight months. There must be some traitors within your ranks. I wonder who? Him. Him. Yes. Well, that was interesting, but then I'm going to do a long play. Usually I'm a little bit better than that, but that's North and South. Okay, that is the end of my unboxing video. A big thank you to John Stone for packing them so well. I really appreciate it. It must have taken you a while wrapping them all up individually like that, but it's fantastic. But anyway, out of all those games, I've only played four of them. But it is a great addition to my channel and a great addition to my collection. But this is Jamie from Morganus Games. Please like, please comment, please share, and please do subscribe to my channel. I have a Facebook fan page, I'm on Instagram, also on Twitch. Just type in Morganus Games, you find it fairly easily. And please remember to click on the bell icon, that will notify you when videos upload, that will be fantastic. When I'm not doing these sort of videos, I do retro long plays without cheats. I do hammer beat making and live streams every Friday night, UK time, about 8 o'clock, to the highlight of my week. But anyway, that's enough chit chat from me, take it easy, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy, ciao bye, see ya.